My Dreams by Joanna Farias. In 2007 is when I found out dream acting was my passion. I got introduced to acting by a teacher in LACC. When I found out acting was my passion, I stayed for hours after school practicing and practicing. I used to practice in front of the mirror until early in the morning, just getting down my lines. I have a lot of support around me and people tell me my dreams are possible. There's steps to that dream and I'm willing to take every single one of them to get there. My dream is to win an Academy Award for Best Actor and my family's at the front cheering me on. The end. The Racing Life by Juan Hernandez. My inspiration starts with the name of my team, Team Intense Los Angeles. So far, we're number one in LA. Every Friday night, um, we go to a parking lot or spas, you know, where cars get to hang out and people start to walk around, look at their cars. Like right here, we see a couple of people looking at their cars, like some specific cars. Other people just passing through, friends hanging out. After that, like around 11 a.m., I mean 11 p.m., everybody goes to the race where everybody starts racing. Like right here, we got the little guy uh, getting setting up for the cars, and the cars just smash it. <laughs> After the race, there's always one person that gets chased by the cops. After he gets chased, when he's getting chased, everybody smash goes trying to get out from the spot so they won't get the cars told because when you get chased by the when you get stopped by the police they actually tow your car for 30 days after everybody is stressed out everybody goes home and relax like trying to come down for what happened that night and get ready for the next day the end the american dream by christian Paon. Carlos grew up in Mexico being poor. He got tired of being poor. He went to the U.S. border and started thinking, should I cross to the U.S. or stay in Mexico and be poor? He came to the U.S. His intelligence and ideas gave him success. Now he owns his sewing company and he is his own boss. His sewing company gives him money and respect. And D N. Finished school by me, Christian Rivera. Every day I wake up to to go to school, but even though I want to stay in bed and sleep, I get to school and take a seat and wait for a class to start. I start doing work and start learning stuff I didn't know about. I spend the whole day bored and just playing around with my friends. Finally, when school lets out, I get all happy and can't wait to hit the streets. The end. A Great Future Awaits by Nancy. September 20th, 2011. 
Oh, I can't believe the time is here. I'm so happy. September 21st, 2011. You have such a healthy baby. Thank you. Is he sleeping? Yes, he is. Okay, I'll let you rest. Two years later, bakery school. Hi, hi. Can I help you do you with something? Yeah, how can I enroll to this school? Okay, I'll help you. Thank you so much. That's a really great cake. I feel I want to eat it. Yeah, huh? It looks so good. Well, thank you. One year later, graduation time. This is, this are our graduates, our new bakers. That's me. Six months later, Nancy's Bakery. Great and delicious cakes. The end. Graffiti by Flo. Flo likes to skate. Flo is a tagger. Some people don't like that, as you can see. Sometimes Flo gets bored of just tagging. Sometimes he just like doing more than just tagging. Sometimes he goes around around the school tagging, but not inside school. Flo's been getting in a lot of trouble. The cops always behind them. At the end of the day, Flo goes home, paint por portraits, Finn. My Future by Sharnika Beverly. This is me going to school. Don't really want to go, but I have to go to get my work done. This is me in class doing my work. I don't want to be here, but I have to get this work done so that I can graduate. Graduation. Oh yeah, I did it. All that hard work and complaining paid off. What's next? College, wow, I made it. Everything, everything is finally falling into place. My dream of becoming a nurse is finally coming true. This is me at school, sitting outside under a tree studying. Four years later, me and my classmates walking to graduation. This is me holding my certificate. And finally, this is me on my way to work. I did it. The end. Graffiti and Art by Paul. One day there was a tagger. He tagged in a mirror. Later on, on another mirror, but a face. When he did a face, he saw it was, he saw it as art. He got more into art. He realized he could combine graffiti and art. He successfully became a hardcore artist. Then.